My name is uh, Margaret Mwenya. I work for Catholic Relief Services. Um, I currently am managing a Feed the Future project in one of the provinces in Zambia. Uh, before I joined the NGO world, I worked for the Minister of Agriculture in Zambia for 15 years as an extension person. So I started from a camp level, the lowest, up to a provincial level. And then I also worked for a Swedish program that worked on farming as a business for small scale farmers. So um, I think a lot has been said about the extension approaches. So in CRIS, we are trying out this model that looks at um, complementing five skill sets for farmers to adopt uh, uh, technologies and effectively engage in markets. That diagram there shows our theory of change. We believe that at CRIS and our partners that um, there are three levels at which we find most of our farmers. The lower level there are usually the highly vulnerable farmers that are not uh, uh, participating in markets. And at the middle there, you have most of the farmers that are vulnerable but viable, and some of the vulnerable farmers that have occasional market sales. And then up there, you have the consistent market sales. There have been discussions here about uh, when we are talking about value chains, we might be leaving out the poor farmers. So in our approaches, we usually think of that lower level and then go up to the middle level. In most of the countries in Africa, the middle level is the biggest level. That's why you find mostly 76 to 80 percent of the farmers around that level. So if we build the skills of that level, they'll be able to pull up some of the farmers from the lower level as they provide services, as they increase their requirements for labor and for transportation and, and sorting out of their produce before market. So if we build the level of that, the middle level, it should be able to pull up the level at the bottom. Okay. So this I've explained. So the focus of the five skill sets is to build the skill sets at the middle level so that we build resilience there and be able to, to have a full effect of the bottom level farmers, and also to move some of the farmers up the higher level and engage with markets. So what are those skills? I'm sure we all know these skills. They are not new skills. They are skills that we've been using for different groups of farmers, for individual farmers, but we use them in different combinations. So I'll come back to that and just give a brief background to the skill set. The Catholic Relief Services working with the FIAT in 2002 co-facilitated a learning alliance. And in that learning alliance, a, an alliance was formed in East Africa and Central America, but now more have been formed in Central and Southern Africa. So this alliance formed up a group of people that um, wanted to know how can we improve the capacity of farmers to link with markets? Because I think what we've learned from the previous presentations is that normally a group may have a skill to scale up the growth of soybeans, so they'll know the technology, they'll increase the numbers, and then if just something happens in the market, everything collapses. So then they did a study, the Alliance did a study of farmer groups in Uganda, Bolivia, and India, and 40 groups were studied. And um, what they learned from this intensive study was that uh, most of the successful groups had the five skill sets in different combinations. As I said earlier on, these are not new skill sets. We've, um, we've seen them before, but what is key is the combination of the skill sets. So at the center of the five skill sets are financial management and literacy, natural resource management, marketing. So uh, most of the groups require those three central skills for them to effectively engage with markets. In marketing, they require to know what are the prices prevailing, how to do a market research, 
how to do their business model so that they take farming as a business. And while producing for the markets, the farmers also need to know that they need to maintain the natural resource. So you find that the farmer groups have natural resource plans that are taking care of looking after the watershed, conserving the soils, conserving moisture, so that as they produce for the market, they do not injure the, the environment and continue producing. Then finance. Um, before putting these five skills together, CRIS has been operating in a lot of East African countries, uh, Asia and Central America in what we call the silk model, which is savings and internal lending communities. And this model offers two of the skill sets, which is finance and group organization. So um, after this team went out and put this together, uh, a trial, a pilot was done in East Africa, mostly in Tanzania. And some of the groups that um, the trial was on or the pilot was on, were producer groups who had a lot of skills in uh, natural resource management, they were able to multiply, but they didn't have the uh, financial and uh, group, group organization skills. So when this was tried among these people, it was discovered that over a period of one year to two years, their produce increased to almost 26%, the second year 56%, and then the, the groups were independent to be able to participate in the markets. Because the importance of the five skill sets is to build the agency capacity of the farmers, that they are able to organize themselves, organize their own markets, look for information, and be able to engage with markets. Then to support that, CRIs with partners, especially MIA and uh, USID, we have developed those materials to guide the field agents who are training these farmers. And um, what model? <clears throat> so what model have we used to scale up this initiative? We have paper-based uh, training modules, as I said, for the field agents. And then we also have a distance learning with Go course, which we are trying to scale up now. But mostly because of um, internet problems, we usually, we usually use the paper base. But for those areas where there's internet, we use the uh, web base. But we can also do these lessons online or offline. And then when you come to where there's internet, you can go online and check the scores. So usually one of the modules here, this screenshot is showing um, a value changing farmers with consumers and talked about one module on marketing. And then the other tool that we have been using for farm groups is the farm book. And what the farm book does is it registers farmers, develops business plans, it schedules crop production activity, calculates gross margins on site, and register sales, and enables the field agents to collect production and crop performance data in agriculture. So if you look at the farm book, it has sort of put all the five skills together. So the farmers will know how to produce, the farmers will have a, an idea of the market, what does it mean if we sell on farm, at the farm gate rather, what does it mean if we bulk at the next uh, rural depot? What does it mean if we take to the district uh, market or if we have an export market? So it all comes into this farm book, which is a notepad that is also useful to operate offline and then they can go online and sync the information. So that at a central system, we, have, we know how many farmers have been registered and what businesses they are doing. So um, just an example of one farmer group in uh, Mongo. An example of one farmer group in Mongo who are growing rice. And this is how they do their calculations. The area is factored in, the production, how much they keep for food, how much is family labor. 
and if they have a financial lending system, how does that impact on their profits if they borrow, if they use their own money? So we have 46 groups doing this in just one district of Western Province of Zambia. So, so what is the model for expansion? So within the projects, we are using the silk model where a field agent is paid a stipend for one year and then they graduate, they are examined and then they graduate and when they graduate, they add the other three skill sets and start getting a fee for offering the whole package to the farmers. Okay. So um, that's an example there. There was a pilot study in Uganda under the PSPs. And at the end, it was discovered that um, the PSPs were saving almost the same number of farmers as were paid field agents, and the rate of replication was 1.9 for new groups. <clears throat> How we've expanded? Uh, in Zambia, the five skill sets with the farm book are being used in three projects currently. Um, and then we've also got World Fish Centers come on board with a much longer project, which is going to take 10 to 15 years. So they are also going to upscale in two districts. And then Fabia 4-H Young Farmers Group is another project that is also trying out the five skill sets. In Bangladesh, Kenya Ministry of Agriculture is an interesting one. The minister has taken up the five skill sets approach. And in Nicaragua, and our partners in the alliance are those FDI Boca World Fish Center. Then the people who are doing research and monitoring the activities of the five skill sets for us are Madoc University and Mia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Margaret. How many farmers?